So for this evening's practice, um, we're going to lighten our hearts a little bit. Uh, we're going to start seated. So find a comfortable seat. If you want to sit on a meditation cushion or blanket like I am, feel free to do that. And just take a minute to check in. And we'll take the right hand and place it right over your heart, just cupping the hand and leaving a little bit of space between your palm and your heart. And then placing the left hand over top. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. Begin to notice your breath. As you breathe into your belly, and fill the ribs and the chest. And as you exhale, just notice how you're showing up for your practice today. Notice any heaviness in the heart. Anything that you might be carrying with you in the shoulders, in the neck area. Or if you're feeling really wonderful today, maybe this space feels really light. Just noticing what is without judgment and being present. in the here and the now. And as you breathe, just notice how the inhale fills the chest and expands the chest. And as you exhale, allow everything to soften. Just take a few moments here to be present with the breath. Just checking in. Starting to find a flow for your breath where the exhale matches the length of the inhale. And perhaps engaging that ujjayi breath. Closing back of the throat a little bit to make that audible sound as you inhale. And as you exhale. And take one more breath here. Exhaling fully. On your next inhale, go ahead, open the eyes if they're closed, open the arms like old pose, draw the elbows down a little bit, maybe gaze upwards, big breath in, and exhale and bring the hands to your heart, chin to the chest. Inhale, opening again to that goal post, looking upward and exhaling and bringing the palms together and the chin to the chest. Again, inhale and open wide, drawing elbows down a little bit as you open up the heart and exhale hands to the heart, gazing downward, bringing the mind to the heart. And from here, we'll go ahead and move into some warm-ups, bringing the fingertips to your shoulders. Go ahead and circle your elbows down, back and down, and then forward and up, or up and forward. We're going to go backwards first. Just starting to loosen up the shoulder joints. 
and bring the breath into the movement. And then go the reverse direction. So opening up here now, forward up, back and down. Again, moving with the breath. And release down, take the arms out, fingers pointing down, palms up. Find that expansion there and then bring the fingertips back to the shoulders. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. You can add the head as you inhale and look up. And exhale, chin to the chest. And then relax the arms a little bit. We'll take the left hand to the right fingers, get a little stretch in the wrists, the forearms. And then go to the other side. So we're just releasing tension. We're gonna warm up all of our joints and some simple movements before we come to stand. And then release all of that, shake it out. We're gonna take our hands like very loose fists and just circle your wrists. And then reverse and go the other way. And again, shake it out, shake through those knuckles, shake it out, maybe get the shoulders involved and release. Go ahead and stretch your legs out now. We're gonna open up the ankle joints. So circling those feet in one direction. And reverse and go the opposite way. And then flex those feet. Go ahead and bring the, the legs together. Flex your feet and point. Flex and point. Flex and point. And then take the soles of the feet in and out. In and out. In and out. Inversion, eversion. And then bend those knees again, take the feet as wide as your mat, just let your knees drop side to side. So we're getting into our hips a little bit, warming the hip joints. This is gonna be a really good practice um, that you could do for the morning, although it is evening now. You can do it in the evening, you can do it when you come home, just releasing tension from the body. Go ahead and straighten your left leg, bend your right knee in, and we're just gonna straighten and bend a few times. So warming up that knee joint. Make sure you're sitting up tall. If you need to sit on a blanket, sit on a blanket. So we don't uh, round into the lower back. And then straighten that leg and bend your left knee. We'll do the other side. A Little bit of creaking going on there. And then go ahead and come back to cross leg for a moment. You could also do this seated in hero pose. And we're just gonna do a little cat cow here, a little seated cat cow. So drawing the elbows back and lifting from the sternum as you inhale and exhale. And think about drawing the belly to the spine. So don't force a deep rounding. Inhale and arch and exhale, release. Draw the belly in. Inhaling and arch, draw the elbows back. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Move with your breath. Doesn't have to match my pace. Move at your pace. It's your practice. And then next exhale, we'll come back to neutral. And now just slide one hand forward and then the other. So alternating as one side comes forward, turn your head to the to that side. So right shoulder forward, look over the right shoulder. Left shoulder forward, look over the left shoulder. Moving back and forth, just getting the neck a little bit more warmed up. Okay. 
And then let's go ahead and just take the right ear towards the left shoulder. You could place the right hand down, reach the left arm away from you, reach those fingertips, turn the palm up, start to draw that hand back as you drop right ear to the shoulder. Big breath in and exhale it out. Maybe turn now to look down towards the floor. Take another deep breath. Then exhale it out. Press down with the right hand to come up. We'll go to the other side, left ear to the left shoulder. You can use your left hand for stability. Reach through those right fingertips, turn the palm up. Start to take the thumb back behind you. So only go to your range of motion if you've got a shoulder injury. Be mindful of that. Big breath in and exhale it out. Chin towards the chest. Another deep breath. As you exhale, turn your head to look down to the floor. Take another breath. Then exhale it out. Release back to center, shake it out. We're gonna put that blanket aside and go ahead and transition. We're gonna actually come to stand. So if you like, in between coming to stand and you're seated, we can take a little downward facing dog. So from table pose, knees are hip width apart, tuck those toes, push the floor away, lift the hips up. First downward facing dog, maybe pedaling it out. If you want a little bit more warm up for the feet, breathe. Hug those triceps back and apart. And then you have a choice. You can either walk your feet to your hands or walk your hands to your feet. In walk your hands all the way up to your shins, inhale. Arda Uttanasana, half forward fold. And exhale and slide those hands back down. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. If the hamstrings are still a little tight. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees, sink your hips back, and inhale to rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Find your mountain pose. I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit here so we can make sure that I'm not cut off. We're going to move through some standing postures and also some sun salutations tonight. I'm not going to teach them tonight. We have another class on that that you can find in the media library. But um, we're going to start in our mountain pose, so feet hip width apart, you can come to the front of your mat. I'm gonna stand back a little bit just so I'm not cut off. And then relax your shoulders, find mountain pose, engage your belly, lengthen through your tailbone, feet feeling the earth beneath you. Go ahead, take the arms forward, inhale the arms up, and exhale the arms down. Inhale the arms back up, and this time as you exhale, go ahead and forward fold. On your next inhale, slide the hands up your shins, come to half forward fold, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend your knees to chair pose and sweep the arms to the sky, inhale, and exhale, hands to your heart. Release the arms down, we'll do that again. Inhale the arms up. And exhale and forward fold. Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins. Exhale, bend the knees and sweep the arms. As you inhale, come all the way to stand and exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. So from here, we're gonna take the arms out to the side, palms face up, I'm gonna walk forward a little bit so I don't hit the wall. Thumbs are gonna go back behind you. Relax your shoulders, but opening up here from the chest, from the sternum. Big breath in. Lift your heels, see if you can come up onto the balls of your feet, and then exhale, bring the hands back to the heart. So on your inhale, sweep the arms out, lift up onto the balls of your feet, 
And exhale, hands come back to the heart, taking the chin towards the chest. Again, inhale, palms up, open heart, open palms, lifting up the heels, get a little bit lighter. Exhale, hands come back to the heart. Again, inhale, palms up, thumbs back, parallel to the floor, draw lower ribs in, lift up the heels, lots to think about. Exhale, come back. Notice how you feel if you're starting to warm up a little bit. Breathe. And then we'll take a little side bend. So let's go ahead and inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale over to your right, press down to that left foot. Take another inhale here. Exhale. Maybe draw that arm a little longer. Inhale through center and exhale to the other side. Take another inhale and another exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale the hands to the heart. Pause and breathe there, just noticing. <clears throat> and then from here, we're going to take the heels of the hands to the back of your pelvis. So fingers pointing down, draw the elbows towards each other, relax the shoulders down the back, feet firmly planted. Inhale, lift your sternum, little standing back bend. I mean, it doesn't have to be that far. If you feel like you're taking your head back too far, just take the chin forward slightly, breathe. And exhale, release back to neutral. Relax your arms, relax your shoulders. So we're gonna build a little bit of heat for our practice. Then we're gonna come into some sun salutations. But first we're gonna come into chair pose. We're gonna do this a few times. So inhaling the arms up. As you exhale, go ahead, bend the knees, come into your chair pose. You're gonna drape your body over the thighs. So belly to the thighs, let the arms come down. Maybe they touch the floor. Now, as you inhale, reach the arms back up, forward, stay in your chair pose. We're gonna take a count of five as we slowly press to the, the feet and rise back up. Four, three, two, one. Now, I didn't count that accurately, but just as a de to demo that one. So, we're gonna do this a few times. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, chair pose, bending the knees deeply, hands come down. When all the breath is out, we'll begin to inhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, come back to chair pose. Drop down, let all the air out. Inhale, gently start to come up. Count it, five, four, three, two, one. So it's a slow inhale, exhale and fold. The exhale doesn't, the count doesn't matter. Let your head drop. Just make sure all the breath is out. Then inhale, two, three, four, five. Maybe take it to six. Exhale and forward fold. One more time, inhale. Two, three, four, five. Six, reach the fingers. Exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, if you're not forward on your mat, go ahead and step forward. I'm gonna to come to the side so I have a little bit more room. And we're gonna go ahead through a couple of sun salutations, classic style. So arms to the side. If you wanna do a different style, feel free. Move at your pace with your breath. It doesn't have to follow mine. Feet firmly planted, mountain pose. Exhale. Inhale, arms to rise. Exhale. Inhale, lift halfway. Feel free to use your blocks. Exhale, the right foot back, right knee down. Inhale to rise. Reach those arms if you can. 
Exhale, hands come down, step back to downward facing dog. Inhale forward to a plank pose. As you exhale, lower those knees, chest and chin. If you want to do chaturanga, if that's in your practice, go ahead. Slide forward and inhale into cobra. Exhale, tuck those toes downward facing dog and hold for three to five breaths. As you inhale, look forward between your hands, step your right foot forward, left knee comes down, and then we'll inhale to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands come down, tuck the back toes, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Press down through your feet, inhale to rise. And exhale, hands to your heart. We'll go through that again, stepping the left foot back when you're ready. Inhale, the arms to rise. And exhale and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back, left knee down. And inhale to rise. Exhale, hands come down, touch the toes, and step back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to your plank pose. And exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale into a cobra or an upward facing dog. Your choice. Exhale to downward facing dog. Three breaths. Warming the body up. Some salutations are for warming the body up, the front body and the back body. Really preparing for our practice. On your next inhale, look forward. Step your left foot forward, right knee down, and inhale to rise. Exhale, hands down. Tuck your toes, step your back foot forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Press down through the feet. Inhale to rise and exhale, hands to your heart. Breathe here. Mm, find that pace of your breath. Pausing, checking in. Notice how you feel. So from here, we're going to come back down the floor one more time. Inhaling, reaching the arms. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And this time as you exhale, you can step one foot back and then the other. Those who would like to can hop back into a plank pose, a little bit more advanced. You can always step one back or the other. You can come to down dog and then to plank. And then come all the way down onto your belly. We're gonna take the arms forward into Sphinx Pose. So elbows in line with the shoulders, palms down. Wiggle the hips a little bit, feet are about hip width apart. And then inhale and lift the sternum. Feel that length in your spine. We're just preparing the, the back a little bit more for our back bends. So feel the heart, the sternum shining forward. Exhale, soften through your hips. Just taking a few breaths here. See where you can relax. Good. And then go ahead and lower the head down, forehead to the mat, or you can turn your head to the side. Move the hands down so that they're outside of the ribs, fingertips under the shoulders. Roll the shoulders back and down. Press down to the tops of your feet. Inhale into your cobra pose. And exhale and lower. Maybe change your head to turn the other way. Again, rolling shoulders back and down. Inhale into a cobra. Exhale back down. Pause. 
Then one more time, inhale into that cobra pose. Exhale, draw back into table, tuck your toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Triceps back and apart, breathe. Let your head rest, maybe shake the head no. Looking back towards your thighs, pressing the inner ankles to the outer ankles. When you're ready, look forward, inhale, exhale, step or hop forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale, reach all the way to the sky. And exhale, hands to your heart. I just prepared this class today. So when you're ready, we're going to move into a little movement with mantra. So I'm going to go ahead and face you. We're going to step the right foot back. We're going to find warrior one. So toes back, toes can be pointed out a little bit. The hips, we want them forward as much as possible. Ribs are forward, sternum facing front. Starting to bend that knee. Just take a moment to find where you feel comfortable in your warrior one. Inhaling arms up. And then draw up by the elbows into cactus pose. We're going to inhale here. This is our inhale. And even coming forward a little bit. As you exhale, bring the palms together and straighten the front leg. So we're going to add option, option to add a little chanting here. We're going to open the palms, bend the knee, and chant ma ha ha, opening the heart. And then exhale and straighten, gazing down towards the fingers and the heart. Inhale, bending the knee. Ma, ha, ha. And exhale and straighten. Gazing down. Inhale, ma, ha, ha. And exhale. Inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, hinge forward. Reach, reach, reach. Maybe bring the hands down to blocks or to the floor, maybe step the back foot in a little bit, find your version of pyramid pose. And then bending that front knee, inhale, come all the way up to rise, exhale, step the back foot forward, mountain pose. Pause and notice. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, stepping the left foot back. Find your warrior one. So find the distance. If you, if you didn't step back far enough, your front knee might be going over your toes. You want to bring that foot a little more forward. Hips are forward. Chest is forward, opening the arms. This is going to be our open posture. And then as we exhale, we'll bring hands together and straighten front leg. So when you're ready, same thing, we're going to chant that ma ha ha, that heart, um, the sound, sound that helps to open the heart center. So beginning with the hands of the heart, inhaling into warrior one, ma ha ha, and exhale straight. Deep breath in, ma ha ha. Bending the front knee and exhale, straighten. Ma ha ha. Exhale, straighten. One more. Inhale. Ma ha ha. And exhale and straighten. Inhale, reaching arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Maybe step that back foot in. Come down as far as you can. Maybe bring the blocks underneath. Drawing the right hip back, the left hip forward. Pyramid pose. And then taking a little bend to that knee. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Step the back foot forward. Pause in mountain pose.
So from here, we'll go ahead and straighten the right, or I'm sorry, step the right foot back again. Step the right foot back. This time into a lunge. So left foot forward, right foot back. Start to bend the front knee, back heel is up. If you need to, you can bring the front hands or both hands to the front thigh. Find your balance here. And then inhale, start to lift up. Lift the belly off the thigh. Open from the heart. Reach the arms to the sky. As you exhale, start to twist. Take the right arm back and the left arm forward. Inhale, come back up. And exhale to the other side. Left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale, come back up to center. Now exhale the right hand down to your right thigh and see if you can reach a little higher. Maybe coming into a little back bend. Breathe. As you exhale, reach forward, reach forward. Maybe bring the left hand to the thigh, the right hand to the floor or a block. You can sink that right foot back a little bit more. We're gonna to start to twist to the left. So maybe you just keep your left hand on that thigh and twist, or maybe you reach the left hand to the sky. Breathe. And exhale that hand down, bring the right knee down and pause in low lunge. So feeling that stretch in the front of your right thigh, some of you are gonna stay here some of you might bend the back knee, that's your right knee, bring that heel towards your glute, open the heart and see if you can reach back and grab your foot. So not everyone's gonna get there. I'm gonna demo this the other way so that you can see. You can stay here in your lunge. You can have your blocks. <clears throat> you can start to try and bend that back knee. You can always pad the knee up Lifting up here, see if you can grab that back foot with your left hand. Breathe. Opening the heart center. And exhale, gently bring that foot back down. Maybe um, pick up the knee and place it back down. Untuck the toe. We're going to start to straighten the front leg. Walk the hands back. Ardha Hanumanasan, you can pause here or come to sit. Left foot forward, right knee is bent, um, right heel is right next to my hip. So, um, show this from the front. So just a little bit of fun with flow today. This posture is called Trianga, Trianga Mukai Kapada Paschimottanasan. It's a mouthful. You don't have to remember that. So. Press down through your left thigh and shin as we do in Dandasan. Feel that connection with the ground. Think about the belly button folding over that left leg. Inhale the right arm to the sky and exhale, hinge forward. Some of you might grab that right, or I'm sorry, the left toe, bring your head towards the knee. Others of you might just bring your hands on either side of the leg. Breathe here. Three breaths. Inhale to rise. We're gonna gently start to lift up. You can cheat and use your blocks. Start to come back to that lunge and step your right foot forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. And exhale, come back to your mountain pose. Now, do you remember that whole little series we did? We're gonna step the left foot back and do all of it on the other side. Find your high lunge, find your balance. Lifting the heart, lifting the arms when you're ready. Breathe here. Maybe floating a little back bend. As you exhale, start to twist to the left. Bring the right arm forward and the left arm back. Notice if that changes your balance. And then inhale, both arms to the sky. Exhale the other way. So full twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, back to center. And then left hand to the left thigh. Reach a little higher, maybe look up. Maybe you can come a little bit deeper into a back bend. 
and then exhale, come back to center. We're gonna come all the way down. You can use your blocks as necessary. Bring, oh, I'm sorry, not all the way down yet. So right hand to the thigh, left hand to the floor or to a block. Start to come into that twist. Keep the left knee up, reach the right arm to the sky if you like. Full twisted lunge, big breath in. Then exhale, hand comes down, left knee down. Pause here and rest in your low lunge. Breathe as you start to open up that left thigh. So some of you are just gonna stay here and that's fine. Make the practice your own. If you wanna try that reach back, you're gonna bend the left knee so to bring the heel towards the groin. I'm gonna show it from the other side. You can always pad that knee up. I've got two mats here and a rug underneath. So you start to bend the back leg, see if you can reach the right hand back to catch it. Breathe, feel all that openness in the heart. And sternum in the chest. Big stretch in the front of the left thigh as well. And then exhale, gently release it back down. We're gonna to start to straighten the front leg. Now you can always stay here in the Ardha Hanumanasana, the half split, or just come to sit all the way back. Rest your hips, bring your left um, heel outside of the left hip, and then sitting nice and tall, inhale. Actually, we're gonna take the left arm up. We're gonna draw the belly button towards the right thigh. Exhale, hinge forward. Maybe you can grab onto that foot. Maybe both hands to the floor. You might be a lot higher up, that's totally fine. Don't round into the lower back. Some of you may still be in Ardha Hanumanasana. So I built this practice so that there's several places where you can stop and pause and breathe. Do the one that's right for you. Inhale, come all the way back up. We're gonna lift back up into our lunge. That might be the hardest part. Tuck the back toes under. Let's go ahead and step back to downward facing dog this time. Pause here, breathe. And then slowly shift forward, bring the knees down, sink the hips back into a downward, I'm sorry, into a child's pose. Rest your forehead. Breathe, you can always have a block here. Under the head, support you, or under the hips if you're a little bit more lifted. From here, inhale to table, keeping your knees, or I'm sorry, your hips in line with your knees, start to walk your hands forward until you can bring your forehead down and get that big stretch in the chest, the upper body, the space between your shoulder blades. Take a deep breath and exhale and see where else you can soften. Like you're just melting the upper body into the floor. And then gently walk your hands back. Inhale to lift yourself back up. We're gonna come to stand on the knees. If you like, you can have a block nearby. So we're gonna do a couple um, cowl poses. The first one is just uh, knees in line with the hips. Just like we did standing, heels of the hand right at the top of the pelvis, fingers pointing down, draw the elbows towards each other, relax the shoulders back and down, inhale the heart to the sky. Be mindful of your neck, if this is too much, just don't take the head back, look forward. Breathe, take another big breath. And exhale, gently come back up and then sink your heel or your hips down to your heels and just pause for a moment with the, the index fingers touching the thumb and the other fingers curled in, Chinmaya Mudra. Good. 
And then once again, we'll come to stand on the shins, from the knees, bring the hands back. You can repeat what we just did. You could tuck the toes and see if you can reach back, find that right heel with your right hand and lift the left arm to the sky. You can also do this without the toes tucked or you can take your block inside, which is a little bit higher than the foot. And just see if you can find that block with your hand, reach the left arm up. Be mindful, I'm not pressing down into this hand. We don't wanna to put too much pressure on the wrist. And then exhale, come all the way back up, hips to the heel, stop and pause, chin my mudra. Notice how you feel. If this is too much, you might just pause here. When you're ready, we'll do one more on the other side. So coming to stand again, using the block if you used it, you can always just do the, the one we did first. You can bring your hand to your heel, if you can reach your heel, or to the block. I'm on a little bit of a edge of my mat here. So when you're ready, inhale that right arm up to the sky. Be mindful not to put too much pressure on the hand. I actually feel more comfortable with, with my hand on the heel today. And exhale, gently come all the way back up to stand. Sink your hips to your heels. We're gonna come back into the counter pose, into child's pose. Rest your forehead on the floor or a block. <clears throat> if you like, you can go ahead and just drape your arms, <coughs> excuse me, by your, your legs <clears throat> and breathe. Breathe into that space between the shoulder blades and exhale and soften. When you're ready, bring the hands down on either side of your head, pressing down, gently lift back up. We're gonna go ahead and transition onto our backs. So slowly come all the way back. Knees hip width apart, hands to your sides. Make sure that your ankles are close enough in that maybe you can just brush the feet with your fingertips. Relax your shoulders. Take a breath and as you exhale, exhale all the air out. Start to root down through the soles of your feet. And as you do, notice that you already are starting to lift your hips. Breathe in, lift the hips up a little higher, walk the shoulders underneath. And then exhale and slowly lower everything back down. Again, root down through your feet and inhale, start to lift the hips. Use those quadriceps, lift a little bit higher. And then exhale and slowly, slowly, slowly lower back down till your hips rest. Now the third one we're gonna hold, if you would like, if you're feeling tired tonight, you can lift the hips up and come into a restorative bridge pose, placing that block underneath the pelvis and just pausing here and allow the block to hold you up. If you're ready to do one more bridge pose, you can go ahead and lift up without the block, interlacing your fingers underneath the, the spine, pressing the palms together, walking those shoulders underneath of you. Press down through your feet, lift from your quads. Lift the chest towards the chin and the chin to the sky. If wheel pose is in your practice, you could also do a wheel here. Not teaching that one tonight. As you're ready, exhale, release the hands, slowly roll back down. If you're on the block, of course, you want to lift the hips up. 
and take the black out and then roll down. And then just take your feet as wide as the mat, let your knees fall together, pause here and breathe. Maybe place that right hand over your heart and the left hand on top again. Notice if the heart feels a little bit lighter. And then go ahead and draw your knees in, rock a little bit side to side. Inhale your arms overhead, and as you exhale, bring the arms down and straighten the legs up to the ceiling. Again, bring your feet down, inhale, arms overhead, and exhale and straighten the legs up towards the ceiling, flexing those feet. Inhale, bending the knees, arms overhead. You can, you can stay here in this uh, version of Apanasana rather than bringing the feet down if you like, and then just straighten the legs again as you exhale. Inhale, arms overhead, bend your knees. And exhale, and this time just hug those knees in one more time, rock a little side to side. We'll start to take our knees over to the right. Keep your left shoulder on the floor if you can, and reach that left arm away from you. Encourage the shoulder down towards the mat. Take a deep breath here. Exhale and soften. Keep the knees together if you can. You can always place a block here between the knees or underneath. And down from the practice. And then as you're ready, we'll just start to draw the knees back into center, rocking a little bit. We're gonna take the knees over to the other side, keep the knees together. If you can, if they don't come down all the way, again, you can use that block underneath. Encourage the right shoulder to stay down, finding that final twist. Breathe here. And exhale and soften. As you feel ready, start to bring the knees back, recenter your hips, and begin to prepare for Shavasana, straightening your legs, relaxing your arms by your sides, taking any props you need here to get comfortable. You could roll a blanket under your knees or place a folded blanket under your head, maybe cover with a blanket if you're cold, but find your pose of rest. Maybe that's even rolling on your side for tonight. Generally, we end with final rest in a symmetrical posture so that the whole body can rest and absorb the effects of the practice. So once you get settled in, feel all the points of contact between your back body and the floor. Take a breath, and as you exhale, allow all those points to get a little heavier on the floor. Feel your fingers and your toes, the heels on the mat and the back of the head, the tailbone and the skull. And as you breathe in, Allow the breath to expand up and down at the same time, all the way down to the toes and all the way up to the crown of the head, all the way out to the fingertips. As you exhale, allow yourself to sink a little deeper. Allow the earth to hold you now. Each 
each breath, letting go a little bit deeper. Scanning the body for tension. Any place that feels like it's holding tension. Breathe expansion there. And exhale and soften that tension. See if you can let go even just a little bit. And do this with each breath. As you inhale, bring awareness back to the heart center. Feel the expansion and as you exhale, feel that softening, releasing. Each breath nourishing the heart, that oxygen, it's pumped through our bloodstream by the power of the heart. All day long, our whole body, without us even thinking about it, breathing and pumping blood, pumping oxygen to the cells of our body, nourishing us with prana and life force. We need to take care, take care of our bodies, nurture this process so that we can do the work we came here to do. Taking a few more breaths here. Watching the breath and how the breath moves the body. Feel the breath in your nose. Breath in the body. And the breath as you exhale it back out. Begin to deepen the breath, breathing out all the way to the edges of the fingers and the toes. And as you exhale, begin to bring some movement back into your body, wiggling those fingers and toes. Maybe beginning to yawn and stretch. As you feel ready, gently roll to one side, whichever side is more comfortable for you. Pause there. Take a moment to experience that connection with the earth one more time. 
before you gently walk yourself back to seated. And once you're seated, let's go ahead and pause here, check in with the heart, bring the hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra. Notice if anything has shifted or changed in the body, the mind, the breath, or the heart. And then inhale the arms out like we did earlier, standing palms up, reach overhead, big breath. As you exhale, allow the palms to come down and rest at the crown of the head. And inhale the thumbs to the third eye. Your th thoughts be pure. And exhale to the mouth. May your words be kind. And inhale, thumbs to the sternum and the heart. As you exhale, bowing forward, bringing the mind to the heart. And resting there. You could choose to stay here and meditate for a bit longer. Or you could end your practice. Thank you so much. Namaste.